What's up everyone and welcome to the club. In today's video we're creating a sketch illustration of Lord Voldemort from Harry Potter. For today's lesson, we'll be sketching on top of plain white sketch paper and using a black 4B pencil. Let's move to a side grip and use the flat edge of our pencil and sketch a circle in the center of our page. Starting from the very top of the middle, just going to lightly work our way around the left side. Then just bring that in towards the center. And we'll go all the way around the right side. And we're just using these short choppy lines and readjusting the circle. Now that we have our circle in place, we want to add some guidelines to help with the symmetry. Starting at the very top in the center, sketch a line coming all the way down towards the bottom of our page. And then we'll extend that up towards the top. Let's add another guideline on the side of our circle. Starting with the left, coming all the way down. And extend that up towards the top. And we'll do the same thing on the right side. Let's add another guideline across the center of our circle going from left to right, and this will help with the placement of the facial features. And we'll add one more guideline across the bottom. Now you want to place the top edge of the eyes just below that center line. So from the middle, we're going to step down, sketch a line going across, towards the left, and then the right. Now you want to create two squares on the outside of that center line. So stepping over towards the left, come all the way down towards the bottom. And we'll do the same thing on the right, creating that little square along the inside. Now from here we start blocking out the eyes. From these two points, we're going to curve the brow coming in and then bending that up towards that center line. and it'll slope the eyelid coming down along the side. We'll start with the left side coming down and out towards the side of our circle. Now halfway along this line, we're gonna bend the brow going out and then down. Let's go back to the inside corner of the brow, step out, draw a short angle line coming down and in that inside line. And then we'll tuck the eyes in underneath the brow. Starting over on the left, we're going to draw a circle, almost like a half circle going around, and then back up towards the top. Now you want to go back to the outside and curve the eye coming down underneath the iris, and just pull that up towards the inside. Let's add that fold along the inside of the eye. Starting on the left, angle this down and out. Now we're going to move down and start blocking out the nose. From this bottom line, step up, sketch a line going across. And then leaving a gap in the center, let's go to the left side, draw a straight angle line going up and out. And then do the same thing on the right. Now directly underneath this line, we're going to step down and sketch another line going across the center edge of the mouth. And then to locate the corners of the mouth, we want to line up with the center of the eye, come all the way down and just mark this off. Let's go back to the center and block out the upper lip. From this point, we're going to step up, angle this up and out towards the left and right side. And then from the top, angle this down and out towards the corners of the mouth. Let's connect the corners of the mouth with another curve, coming down towards the bottom of the lip, and then bend that back up. Now that we blocked out the face, let's angle the side of the head coming down towards the jaw. Starting from the side of our circle, it's going to draw a straight angle line, coming down towards that line, and do the same thing on the right. Let's move down to the bottom and sketch a line going across the bottom of the chin. And they'll connect the outside of the jaw to the bottom corner of the chin with a straight angled line.
Now I'm gonna place the ears along the side of the head. Let's start by lining up with the outside of the brow line. Draw a short line going out. And then from the outside, curve the ear coming down and then back in. Now you wanna add a little point along the top of the head. From the top of our circle, we're gonna step up, curve the head going out, and then down towards the side of our circle. Round up the top, going across, and then back down on the right. And now we're gonna block in the side of the neck and the shoulders. From the corner of the jaw, we're gonna step in, sketch two lines coming down. Go back up to the top of the neck, slope the shoulders coming down and out. Now that we've established the basic shape of the head, we'll go back and lightly raise some of these guidelines. Once we're happy with the general layout of our drawing, we're gonna go back in with the tip of our pencil and start adding some details starting with the eyes. Starting from the center of the eyelid, it's gonna work our way up towards the inside. And we'll fade that out as we come up. Just lightly tracing out the bottom of the eye and adding that dark tear duct. And then we'll go back and just trace the outside of the iris. Adding a small highlight circle on the top left of the iris. And drawing a small circle in the center of the iris, the pupil, and it'll darken up the center. I want to tuck this in underneath that highlight. And we'll add a light shade inside the iris going around the pupil. And going around that highlight. And then we'll just darken up the top and then fade that out as we come down. I'm just gonna lightly shade the inside of the eyes. And then with the side edge of our pencil, we're just gonna add some shading going in underneath the brow. Just darkening up that fold underneath.
just gonna add a shadow along the bottom edge of the brow just to give this some shape. And then we'll fade that out as we go up. Now from here, we're just going to move down and start adding some detail to the nostrils. I just want to leave a little bit of a highlight in the bridge of the nose. So just shading the outside. And start working our way down towards the lip. And adding a dark shade on the side of the cheeks. Now from here, I'm just going to readjust the placement of the mouth, just raising up a little bit higher. I'm just going to start with that center seam, going up to the corners. And we'll darken up the upper lip. Let me trace the outside of the lip. And then readjusting the lower lip on the outside. And then shading that in. I'm just using the tip of my pencil to add a little bit of texture to the lower lip. It's going up and down. find the edge. Now from here we're going to move out and start defining the outer edge of the head. Just working our way around the cheeks and then rounding up the jaw. And coming in towards the chin. Just going to raise the chin a little bit higher. And then we'll go back and just shade the rest of the face.
just adding some shadows along the outside of the head to help give this some shape. And then defining the cheekbones. And then go back and darken up the outer perimeter of the head. And we're just going to work our way around the perimeter of the ear, just adding a little bit more shape. And then we'll shade those ears in. And then we'll layer in the folds. Now from here, we're just going to work our way up towards the top of the head. I'm going to continue to darken up that shadow on the side of the head. Just working our way up and just fading that out. And then with the side edge of our pencil, we're just going to add a light vein texture along the side of the head and just pulling them in. I'm going to move down and just add in the collar. Just pulling this in towards the middle. And then just slope down the shoulders. Let's darken up the neck just underneath the head. And then the head's going to cast a darker shadow across the top of the neck. And then we'll just fade that out along the bottom. Now we're going to go and just loosely block in the rest of the body.
Now at this stage, we have a pretty good look of our drawing. So I'm gonna go back and darken up the contrast of the shadows, starting with the eyes. Also using the side edge of our pencil to feather that out. And as we get closer to finishing off our drawing, I'll tighten up my shadows and add a little bit more detail. And that's pretty much it. There's a sketch illustration of Lord Voldemort. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. If you did, please make sure you subscribe because I'm posting new lessons every single day. You can also drop your request in the comments below. I want to thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon.